Nothing. Keeping silent all practice. <laughs> oh! You're in the middle like six times. How's it been playing for Timro this year and how do you like it in Sundsvall? Awesome, no complaints I think. Uh, I, I love the city that they set us up with a, a very nice apartment. Uh, downtown is, downtown Sundsvall is very gorgeous, lots of restaurants. Um, the team has all been very nice, um, uh, accommodating, uh, helpful and, and all the guys have been great. So it's been a good start and I think it's going to be a good year. Anton Lander told me that he was partly behind the fact that you ended up here. <laughs> yeah, uh, Lander is an awesome guy. I think uh, I played with him in Russia and um, he was, uh, he was my best friend on the team and, and, and he made that transition to Russia a, a lot easier. Um, him and his family were really nice to me and they, they uh, uh, helped me out a lot in, in Russia and uh, uh, he helped me get here actually. I think he, he's got a quite a bit of pull here obviously. He's a big name in this, with this organization so um, uh, yeah, he's just a great guy and, and I appreciate everything he's done for me. When they take a picture of you in the media, you put in my snooze after your <laughs> yeah. My mom would kill me. Yeah, I, no. Come on, Vic. I've done the most stretches I've ever done. I'm just making up stretches now. Speaking of Lander, he's in Switzerland right now, but do you think you guys will play together again someday? Yeah, he's he's enjoying Switzerland. I mean, who wouldn't enjoy Switzerland? And, and uh, I know he's got his young family there that's enjoying Switzerland. And um, his oldest son, Vigo, just started uh, school um, there. So they're, they're really enjoying it. And, and uh, I, I'm glad I have a friend in, in, in Anton, and, and he's helped me and my wife uh, transition to Sweden. been a lot easier. Let's talk about... Connor McDavid. Yeah, I mean, if, even if you don't follow NHL, you're gonna see his highlights and, and uh, his name everywhere you go. I think uh, it, it doesn't it's not surprising anymore what, what he does, um, and it's 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 not it's not like it's getting boring because everyone loves to see it, but it's just it's almost expected of him because he's so good and, and uh, it's unbelievable what he does and, and, and how he plays the game and, and how he carries himself off the ice is is uh, even better and, and he's just a genuinely good guy. You're just not surprised anymore. It's a, he, he can do that stuff on, on against anyone and, and, and any given night. So um, it's obviously unbelievable. It's fun to watch. Uh, it's just not surprising because I, I watched it for so many practices, what he can do, and and, um, and he just keeps proving every night how good of a player he is. Uh, we kept we kept in touch we, once in a while, with, uh, just the Snapchats or quick uh, stuff like that. But he, he's a busy guy, and, and uh, I, he's got a lot of stuff on his plate. Let's talk about this season with Tim Rum. You're down there struggling as a team, and at the same time, you have high expectations to be a leading player. How do you feel about the season so far? Yeah, I think it, it adds a little more pressure that you, you, you want to be a point guy, I think. Uh, you, you want to help out the team any way you can, but uh, um, come in here, you, you kind of. I knew I had the role of, of uh, producing offensively, and um, lucky enough, I'm playing with good players, and, and, and we've had some good games. Um, but at the same time, you, you want that to translate into wins, and, and uh, um, we had that stretch where it was tough, but we played a lot of good hockey and, and we lost some, some games that we probably should have won. Um, but like I keep saying, it's we know what we have, we know we're a good team and, and uh, we'll be okay. I think it's just important for us to, when, when we get on, when we lose a couple games or, or things aren't going our way, we have to we have to stop it right there. We, we have to stop the bleeding and, and uh, we've done that lately. Uh, we're playing really good hockey right now and, and uh, it's an exciting time around and it's a good time to be a, a Timber hockey player. Moving forward, we're playing good hockey now. We need to put up points, and, and uh, we need to get to, into spots where um, even more, where we're safe, or even if we, we push into that play-in round. So, um, like I keep saying, we're, we're a good hockey team. We know that, and we just got to stay confident in ourselves. That's it for the day. That's it. That's it for the day. Save the legs for tomorrow. This is the last one. I heard you talked about snooze with Ante Karlsson, the assistant coach. Are you not a big fan? It's obviously a popular uh, thing with, with, with Swedish uh, people. Um, <laughs> Have you tried? I've tried it once or twice. Uh, it's tough to get into. I don't know if I, if I like it. And um, I think my, my mom and, and my wife would, would, would uh, kill me if I, if I started doing it, if I brought it back home. <laughs>